was lucky enough a week ago to attend ULEARN in New Zealand. We actually went to two events. Um, I went across and presented at the Google Apps for Education Summit, um, which was a gathering of people that are interested in the Google Apps environment. Uh, really good. There was 350 um, New Zealand teachers. There was two Australians there. Um, and, and basically, it was just a day of um, immersing yourself in, I guess, all things Google and using it. Um, what was really good is we were at a, a school very, I guess, new, like this campus here. Um, if you ever get, a, get to go across to New Zealand and if you specifically go to Auckland, make um, mention or make, make a note of visiting um, Albany Senior High School. Um, and the only thing that I have in common with that is it's Ashes, and I went to Ashes in Alice Springs. So. Um, but it's worth seeing the school because it, it's actually designed, and I've been to Google, and this school actually has the same structure and feeling as a Google office in terms of the reconfiguration and reconfigurability of the environment. Um, so it's worth having a look at just because it's a senior high school and it's worth going at. Um, so just to go over that, the, the Google Apps, all these links will be available, but the good thing was because it's a Google Tools, all the presentations are all available online. So if you're into Google Apps and you want to explore some of these areas, all this stuff is available online that you can go through and have a look. And that was, I guess, the good thing about the conference. Um, Core is the group in New Zealand that hosts ULEARN. Um, if you've never been, go. For people, I guess, like us that use technology a lot um, and are really um, comfortable with it, this is a conference that we will feel at home at. Um, we don't do anything like it here in Australia. It has 1,500 people, um, and they have that year on year. Um, and, and the idea, I guess the idea for us is you go over and you've got the conference activities, but it's more about getting that headspace and connecting up with New Zealanders who get far less funding than us, are paid far less than us, yet... I think a lot of them do a lot better than what we do as a whole in terms of what they're doing with technology, which is really interesting. Um, so it's worth just that kind of getting immersed in that kind of environment. Um, the good thing about it is all the, you know, all the stuff was online. I think the other day I was, they, they put up an um, infographic of the amount of tweets and the impressions, and I think from the analytics they used, um, you learn had 3 million impressions from tweets and stuff like that. So... Um, Jump on the site and have a look. All the keynotes are up there. Um, you have to, if you log into this site, so you have to create an account on this site. But if you do, you can access all their resources and all the information from different sites. Um, all the talks are put up, and this I'd never heard of this before. But um, this is a site that I'm going to be going back to. This is actually developed in New Zealand. It's called EdTalks.org. Has anyone used it? No, amazing. They've got some amazing resources. Um, and this is just from all the people that they've had over there. So it's just a list of talks. I guess a little bit like TED, but just you know, who New Zealand's had over there. Um, so this is a really good site to, you know, to have a look at and to go through. Um, all the presenters, all the keynotes. Um, Jason Ola, I'd never heard of him before, um, but he's huge over there. Um, and the thing I take away from Jason, he was the first keynote presenter. Um, the thing I take away from Jason was he used the term, you know, this life is not a warm-up. And he was using that, that term in regards to learning. You know, don't think that you know, you're going to have another life to have a crack at something that you want to learn. If you want to learn something now, do it now. And it was a really, really good message. Um, and he kind of blended it into digital citizenship and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, the good thing about all these keynote presenters is all the blogging or all the recording them, of them was done in a Google Doc by lots of people. So I've got the link to the docs that have all the notes that people took at collaboratively. Um, tell me when my time's up. Um, Kaodo, oh, I can't pronounce his name. This is Ando's brother. Never heard of him. Yeah. Man, he's done amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, video, and I'll have to refresh my thing here. Um, he's done some amazing stuff. Taught himself to be a screenwriter, taught himself to make movies, makes movies with underprivileged um, people. Um, and the stuff that he's doing is quite phenomenal. And he's got a big project coming up. Um, all these links I'll be putting on the um, Teach Me page, so you'll have all these links. Kevin Honeycutt, um, this is good for planning. I did have all these loaded. If you've not heard Kevin before, amazing presenter, really engaging, does a really good job, and um, you know just talks about it in a really human way. Really good digital storyteller. Um, Kevin's worth having a look at. He was a keynote, and then we had Glenn Capelli, and Glenn works a lot with leadership around the idea of you know making change, and he talks about the idea of neoteny, which means you know having a childlike behaviour and childlike traits in terms of learning and, and going back to that basics. And also the idea of um, Kaizen, a little bit after a little bit. 
Um, really good presentation. Now, all these keynotes are recorded, and you'll find them on the Ed Talk, so you can watch them. They go for about an hour and a half, so they're quite sizable. Um, this is the, the keynote shared page. Um, so these are all the collaborative docs that you can see when they load up. So this is Jason Olders. So you can see all the people that sat in the room that jumped onto this doc went and put all their notes and all the links. So all the stuff's there. You know, this was, and this is what was great about this conference was in terms of technology and what we talk about, it was happening. People were tweeting, you know, you'd meet someone from New Zealand, bang, you'd go and find them, where are you? And off you'd go. It's what we want to see happening. You know, this is what we want our kids to do. And this happened at this conference. I haven't seen that done anywhere yet in Australia natively, you know, that it just happens. So it's worth going across. Next year it's in Hamilton, um, in the North Island. Um, while I was there I met a couple of people that worked in digital citizenship. Um, New Zealand have put together this, um, there's a whole heap of teachers that have put together this digital citizenship um, wiki that they've only just released. But the idea of it, and it's a growing tool, and anyone here can join it, and you can go and put your resources and links in. But what they've done is they've gone and put together um, activities for primary, intermediate and secondary around um, you know, I guess the, the nine, ten facets of digital citizenship. Nice little resource, you know, again, it's this stuff that gets hidden, we just don't hear about. And the last one that, that was I thought was really interesting, it's not going to load, um, New Zealand actually also released a website called Teachers and Social Media, and this is dedicated for teachers understanding the use and application of social media and all the different facets, and it's actually a nice little site, got some good guidelines, um, and they're trying to collect stories, and you, you can see the stories on, on here around the design of it very early. These were only released over there, so um, they're going to grow and develop um, and keep going. And then at the conference, um, I was lucky enough, I didn't actually get to go to many sessions because I did lots of presentations, um, but one that I missed but is worth having a look at was there was an Apple Smackdown. So if you use Apple tools, so sorry for those in Windows world, um, this was a really good little um, session, and again, they've collected it all in a Google Doc that they've put all the links to. You know, and some of the people, Megan Iema was, wasn't at the conference, but she certainly put in her bit through, you know, Twitter and that kind of stuff. I don't know, Jenny, did you whack anything in that one? Uh, yeah, that was the other week, wasn't it? it was, yeah. I think it was from the back did of school, wasn't it? Yeah, so um, people from all over the, the world saw uh, it and I, added I don't it. think I did. I think I was pretty full on. <laughs> yeah. But it's good for resources. And this is what, you know, this here is what, you know, this is what we want our schools, this is that knowledge collection, the fact that we've got it now that even though you didn't go, you can actually go there and just sit through and trawl through your own stuff. Mm. Um, and that's what impressed me about the conference. Everything was collected and documented. You know, everything was, was put together. So that's my reflections on Nuno. Any questions? It's worth going. Um, I wouldn't send um, teachers that were new to technology over there, because you'll get that here in Australia. But teachers or educators that are um, really starting to get cranking with technology and just need that extra kick or ideas, then it's a really good conference to go to.